guys, it's Jay from GuitarFetish.com, and we are here in my workshop with uh, a guitar that I just built exclusively from parts from our website, GuitarFetish.com, using our XGP line of necks and bodies. So this is a guitar that I've wanted to build for a long time. In fact, before I started this company, I was on the Warmoth Configurator online, putting together a Jazzmaster body and a really cool bound neck and a cool pickguard and, you know, lipstick pickups, trying to make this kind of jazz Frankenstein thing. Um, but now we offer these bodies with a universal pickup route and all these cool necks and cool pickups on our website. So here's what this is. This is an XGP body which is made out of clear white poplar, which is a really nice, a fairly lightweight wood, but it's got tremendous sustain. And we went with a maple neck with black binding and abalone inlays. And this is a tilt back neck. So I don't need string trees here. I've got just enough break at the, uh, at the nut to give me a pretty good tuning stability. And I've cut the nut so that the strings won't hang up. So when we use the, the cool Jazzmaster trim, we're gonna stay right in tune. I put really fancy ivory button tuners on there, which I think look really nice. And these pickers for three singles on the Jazzmaster style body, we've gone with a toggle switch hole. You can either use a toggle and a push pull, or you can use a five-way rotary. And I really like the five-way rotary. For this guitar, we make the same body with a standard Stratocaster style trim. But this one is cut for the standard Jazzmaster vibrato, which is, again, got that loosey-goosey feel, and the rocking Jazzmaster style bridge. And that bridge has little uh, conical points that sit in cups, which have a V groove at the bottom. So uh, if you set this guitar up right, it's actually going to stay in tune really, really well, probably better than a standard Stratocaster with no string locking or any of that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is, uh, just using this point-and-shoot camera, as you can hear, i got no mic on me, no mic on the amp. We're going to plug into my beloved 410 Fender Super and just give you kind of an idea what this baby sounds like. Um, for my signal chain, we've got a GFS foot pedal tuner. We've got a GFS Sweet Sparkle compressor, just so that on this kind of a camera we can hear what's going on. Um, a twin overdrive pedal, which gives you TS9, TS808 in one box. And a twin clean drive pedal, which gives you kind of a Fender preamp and a Marshall preamp and will allow me to get a lot of different sounds. So we'll, uh, we'll go through all of that stuff, we'll play the guitar a little bit, and um, we'll see what we got. So I'm just going to put this, put this down on one of my XGP flight cases and that's how we're going to do it. So here's the bridge pickup on this guitar. And the nice thing about the Lipstick 2 bridge pickups is they give you a little bit of that telly steeliness and a little bit of that Strat air. And uh, I think that's a great sound. Um, when we go to the in-between position, now we're in position two, which is the bridge and the middle. You can hear noise canceling. And that gives you that squonky Stevie Ray sound. position and the middle pickup on the Pro Tubes is really one of the great middle pickup sounds in Stratville. Got a lot of P90 to it which I like. Now middle and neck and uh, again this is some of that great old uh, Jimmy stuff. Stick tube neck pickups are. So not only are these great clean, obviously, but with a little bit of dirt, here I've got the twin overdrive engaged to just give me a little bit of rock and roll. And that's just the bridge pickup. If we go to the neck pickup, it's a great blues guitar. And one of the nice things about the Jazzmaster style guitar, I'm going to engage a twin clean drive for a little more bite, um, is the tremolo gives you You know, 
it's not that Stratocaster dive bomb, and it's not the Floyd Rose thing, uh, and it's very different than a Bigsby because it's got more of a. And you can go up and down with it, and it should stay in tune. So there you go. That's the uh, that's the guitar. Let me show you. So there it is. Uh, I'm pretty proud of it. I built it myself with a couple of hand tools and uh, one of my fine XGP luthier, luthier cases. Um, and uh, probably you can build this guitar on our website for somewhere between two and three hundred dollars, according to what pickups you choose and what hardware you choose. And um, I think it's uh, pretty nice. So thanks for watching. Yeah.